dollop of foam can elevate home-brewed coffee into something special, and after wearing out more than my share of inexpensive handheld frothers, I decided it was time to give a more expensive model a try. Enter the Bodum Bistro Electric Milk Frother. An immediate edge the Bistro has over the handheld frothers is that it heats the milk as it froths. The unit is comprised of a base, a canister that fits onto the base, a whisk attachment, and a lid. It can be a little hard to see, but inside the canister are three fill lines, a minimum, a max frothing line, and a max heating line. Pour in the desired amount of milk, and then place the lid on the unit, or don't, turn it on, and the machine does the rest. As you can see, the unit will operate without the lid, but I don't recommend it as little spatters of milk are flying out all over my countertop right this very second. I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like inside while the unit is working, so I left it off for the video. The unit automatically shuts off when the milk reaches 158 degrees, which is usually after about a minute or two. The manufacturer recommends using low-fat or non-fat milk in the frother, but I use 2% and whole milk, and both had excellent results. As you can see, it produces a really velvety, really rich foam that lasts for quite a while. My biggest complaint about this frother is that it is a bit tricky to clean because you can't submerge or soak the canister. Overall, I've been really pleased with the performance of this product, and I think it's worth the $30.